Welcome back to Football Italia everyone, here we are at the Marassi Stadium in Genoa, we've been enjoying uh, the first half of the Genoa derby, 0-0 nil -nil currently the score between the two teams, they're off on the interval of perfect chances that we discover indeed week after week, for us to have a quick race through the half-time scores, and they are as follows on this, the 29th weekend of the season, Foggia are trailing 2-1 at home to Bari in the Puglia derby, after Padoni scored twice for uh, Bari, his aim is certainly true, uh, Di Biagio uh, with the answer there for Foggia, uh, up at uh, Genoa, it's uh, well here at Genoa indeed the game we're actually watching Genoa at nil nil, less than zero, very much the score there. Inter nil nil with Cremonese, there's no action of that match either, unfortunately. And Lazio uh, against Cagliari, Lazio uh, nil nil with Cagliari at the moment, having a bit of trouble against Oliveira's army. Padova nil nil with uh, Roma, so so far for Roma, American without tears. And uh, meanwhile at Reggiana, it's Milan two and uh, Reggiana nil. Lentini there getting the first goal for Milan, an own goal by Di Napoli, accidents will happen as we know, and it's certainly turning into a good year for the Rossoneri so far for Milan. Torino the last call from today, Torino nil, Napoli won, Buzo setting Napoli up for their third away win this year, perhaps beyond belief that one. Anyway, two games as you know played earlier, we mentioned this earlier, played yesterday, Saturday of course, uh, and they were uh, Palmer against Brescia, that was a 2-1 result for Palmer, two goals by Zola, Neri with the answer for Brescia, but as we know they're now down in Serie B for next season. The other game, which uh, Elvis and I were both at, was the, uh, the post I take it for the, for the <laughs> exactly, uh, all those royalties. I think we owe you for the start as well. Yeah. Four, four, one it was between uh, Juventus and Fiorentina. Yeah, the, a game you tr enjoyed terrifically. It was a terrific atmosphere, and um, the Juventus. They, they, the seventh minute, Viali scored this amazing goal, and that really put them favourites all the way through the game. The other scorers? Uh, Baggio from a penalty, which was a little dodgy, a little dodgy. And uh, then the hardest working man in show business, Ravanelli, got one, and, uh, and Marocchi got one. But still scored a beautiful goal, which keeps him ahead in the scoring charts, doesn't yeah, it? He's up to uh, 23 now, although Zola's up to 18, but goes in second place. But you really could see that... Uh, I think Juventus knew the game was theirs from halfway through and they were probably thinking about games coming up with Coppa Italia and UEFA Cup. Right. Obviously to clear up the fact that the reason that Palmer and Juve played yesterday is because on Wednesday afternoon, or night rather, they will face each other in the first round of the uh, UEFA Cup yeah. final. You can see that definitely in Viali's performance in the second half. He, he was uh, staying, you know, keeping himself I think a little bit, although uh, I think his name, doesn't his name translate as Beardsley? I think it... Uh, Gianluca Viali, I think his name translates from Italian and there's Peter Beardsley because uh, I must explain why he doesn't play for Italy I think, you know. <laughs> Probably. Now, um, one final thing, and very briefly, it is fair that Juve win the Scudetto, isn't it? You're a big Juve fan. Oh yeah, I am. I, I think they, they, they look the champions and uh, even though, uh, you know, the Fiorentina have Battistuto, most of his goals have been scored from penalties, so they, 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 show, they, show, yeah, they show it well, a good proportion. And they, they show the skill throughout the team and uh, they have won the, they won the title earlier in the season really now and they're delivering the results and Palmer haven't caught them yeah but in fact I think they played better without Biagio I was disappointed not to see Del Piero yesterday a controversial note there unfortunately you are a man out of time we've uh, just come to the end of this little part of the programme here we go to the break after which we'll be joined to Paul Elliott and uh, of course looking at the second half of Genoa Sampdoria It's just over here a second. What do you think? Oh, it was fantastic atmosphere. Uh, obviously, I was disappointed. I wanted Sam to win, but uh, they, they didn't really get their men in the box uh, in the first half. And when they did start to play, they got ahead. But uh, Genoa kept fighting. And as you can hear, they, it obviously means a lot to the Genoese fans that uh, they're going to maybe stay up now. Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, it has been a, a battle that's been going on for years now for Genoa. It was a proper derby. It was a lot more like watching a premiership game, maybe a mid-table premiership game, right. than the game we saw yesterday. But, all, but the contrast was great, there were great skills from both sides and there's some great mistakes as well, but wonderful saves from Zenga and then beaten by, you know, great goal. So. You're, a, you're a bit of a veteran of, of some of the derbies up at Liverpool, at Anfield. Uh, how yeah, I've been to a few, be? yeah. Um, well, it obviously, it's all, they, they, sing, they sing quite a lot of Paul McCartney songs here, I noticed that, so maybe, maybe there is a connection, I don't know. It's not a little bit spooky. Ones, no, not yet, but uh, who knows, we may be able to start that, you know. You've, you've done a lot to promote that, you know. <laughs> Okay, listen, will you be coming back? Oh, definitely, yeah, I'd love to come again. It's a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere, and, um, you know, right from the beginning with the respect for, um, for um, Fortunato, uh, where they applauded him, rather than a minute's silence, they were applauding him, which yeah. was a nice way to see him go out. It's very sad that he died, but then they picked it up, and it was a proper atmosphere that concentrated on the game and the matters in hand today. Okay. Lovely to have had you with us. Thank you. Also to Paul Elliott as well. Just time now to say that we uh, won't be back on Tuesday night because Metanotti is now over for the season. We will be back uh, on Saturday morning with the goals from yesterday's games and today's. And of course on Sunday with a live game, which we're not sure what it'll be yet, but great fun, no doubt. Anyway, here's the goals from today's game and goodbye.